Hello and welcome to the Trade Ideas Market Recap for Tuesday, December the 16th. My name is Barry Anderson. This is the address to get into the room and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. Okay, before we take a look at the trades that I made today, uh, I want to just take a quick look at the SPY. And the SPY, this was a, I found this a very tough day to trade. It was very choppy, up, down, up, down. Uh, you know, here's here is the pre-market for the SPY, and you can see we had a it was looked like it was gonna we were gonna have a brutal open, and we did. Uh, here's here's where the uh, here's 9:30. Here's where it opened, but you can see that it then it rallied uh, tremendously, and all this was on the back of oil stocks. Now, if I take a look at my breakouts, I had to do a reboot on on in my platform, so uh, you don't see everything here. But if I do a history of today. Um, Virtually all these stocks that were breaking out were oil stocks. You know, I don't want to. I don't have to go over them. I, I know most of them uh, at the beginning anyway were all oil, oil stocks. And I just have a. I just had a tough time getting into it, to be honest with you. I mean, I. You know, we saw yesterday that the market started off uh, well, and then it faded most of the day on the back of oil stocks uh, uh, dropping again. And so here, all these oil stocks are are booming. And, you know, more power to anybody in the room that, that took those trades. Uh, you know, that's great. But I just couldn't convince myself that, you know, at what point do, do I get in? Do I get in here? Do I get in here? Do I get in here? And then you can see that they finally topped out. And then the, and then the SPY is uh, dropping again. And again, all these oil stocks has dropped. Now, that could have happened right here. You know, that, and we may not have had this. So it could have happened right here, and then they start dropping. So for me on these breakouts, I, I really don't like to, to play a, like a sector that, that's uh, been beaten up because it's just it's just so emotional uh, right now, especially oil. I mean, nobody knows where the bottom of this is. I mean, I hear people talking $40 a barrel, and, you know, who knows? It might get there. I think it, hit, I think it touched 52 something today. So uh, we don't know where this is going to end, and so I just kind of shy away from, from oil stocks uh, uh, right now. You know, unless we put in a bottom and we get a few, a couple of days, maybe two or three days in a row that that uh, that they're going up and it kind of stabilizes and then another pop. So you get a bit of a trend again. But right now, in my opinion, the only trend is down. So hard for me to play any of these, bo the, these pops. So let's take a look at what I did do. P-R-T-A. So let me get to the three-minute chart on this one. Okay. This one was, uh, it kind of baffled me a little bit because in the pre-market, uh, it had absolutely no volume, but the bid ask was way above. Uh, it looked like it was going to open, uh, you know, a dollar or so above the um, the close yesterday. And so I, I, typically I don't read the news on any stock, but this one I decided to find out, like, what was the excitement, but, what, but there was no volume. So it turns out that I guess they've got a... Uh, an approval on the fast tracking of their phase two from the uh, study from the FDA. So typically that, that would mean really good news. And so I decided that I had to watch this uh, when, when it opened. So here is, uh, you know, it opened. In fact, let me just back up just a little bit. So here's where it opened and you can see it popped up, down, up. And I decided to take the trade right here at 1885. Now it was a little bit spready. The uh, difference between the bid and the ask was, uh, you know, a little tough, but I did take the trade. I just felt that, you know, at least briefly, it, it should have a pop, and uh, <laughs> it did. Uh, again, these are three-minute candles, so I took the first half out at 1921, and then as it uh, fell down on this candle, I took I took the second half out at 1892. So it was probably within a six-minute trade for me, um, and, you know, glad to do it, but look how choppy it was afterwards. It popped back up, it came back down, it uh, up, down. I mean, this is not typical for a good result for a farm for a bio stock, even on a on a day where it's where it's choppy. Usually, these you know these bios or, or any stock that's got some good news usually uh, dances to its own uh, beat, and you know this just didn't seem to do that. So uh, happy enough to have a very quick trade in it, uh, and based on reading the news, which again I don't generally do. Air now air. Um, let me just see. Air came in on these swing strategies. Now, again, I said I had to do a reboot. Let me, um, let me just see. Ah, okay. Let's see if I can, uh, if that works. Yes. Okay. See, the first, the first uh, one for air was at 20, 2748. And 
I got into air at 27.45. I waited a little bit on it. This is the, now this is the, let me get back to real time here in case I get any more coming in. This is the five day swing strategy. Now I haven't uh, been, you know, religiously uh, buying these and holding them for five days. I've been finding that, that they've been decent swing uh, or day trades. Now I still have this and I may swing this one. It's, it's holding nicely. But you see, it's only got 120,000 shares. When I saw it, believe it or not, it only had 5,000 shares. The, the alert came at, at 5,000 shares. But re remarkably, as far as I was concerned, is that there wasn't that much of a spread uh, between the bid and ask for, for something that's only traded 5,000 shares. So I was, <coughs> excuse me, I was able to get in at uh, right here at uh, 27.45. And I withstood this because I, I, I was thinking, you know, it went down to 27.33, but I didn't take a huge number because of the spread and also because it only had 5,000 shares. But I've been able to hold on and, uh, you know, now it's at 27.82. And what was the high? The high was uh, 27.90 was the high today. So, you know, there's a good chance I will swing this and, uh, and maybe I'll hold it for five days. Who knows? And if it can go up two or three dollars, uh, you know, it, it'll turn into a great trade. I'm actually finding that on these uh, swing strategies that the lower uh, volume is actually helping because these are stocks that really aren't in play to anybody else, uh, only those who know. So they're not really affected by, by the overall market. So you can kind of get in if you can get in at a reasonable price and not take too many because, I mean, you know, you have to withstand something like this and who knows, it could have gone down lower. But at any rate, I'm in and uh, we'll see what happens. It still has an hour to go in the market, so uh, we'll have to see. Um, now, now, this was a really tough one. Um, NAV was a bounce alert uh, coming down here. And you can see that, you know, I actually was looking at it here as, as a bounce play and here as a bounce play. And it, you know, it just didn't. But again, the market was starting to, uh, to, uh, to fall. Um, well, actually, no, the market was going up. That's right. And this wasn't going up. This wasn't going up with the market. That's right. And so, you know, when, when, you're in a, when you're in a play or trying to get into a play and the market's going up and your stock isn't, then, you know, there's something wrong. You're, you're fighting a, a tough tide there. So, but I did try to do it. I, um, I got in at uh, 30 right here. Uh, th th this is incorrect. Maybe I did this on a five minute. Maybe that'll clean it up a little bit. Yeah, I guess. So I, I took the trade right here on this green candle right there. I took the trade at 3130, but on, but again, SPY was moving up at this time. And when this didn't move up and it started coming down, I just exited the trade at 3121. So I took a nine cent loss there and happy to do it because it just, you know, look at this. I mean, it's, it's uh 30, 3029. So it's a dollar less than, uh, is that right? Yeah, 3020. So it's a dollar less than what I got in. And, and, you know, kind of consolidated there. I actually thought, well, maybe, you know, in this consolidation, if it popped, uh, you know, I could get back into it, but it just didn't happen. CCXI. Uh, yeah, now, this one has been in the news, of course. Let, let's take a look at the uh, daily chart. Well, I don't know so much in the news, but. Uh, again, this is today's candle. So this is yesterday and this is the day before. Um, so this was Friday. Now, the problem with Friday, I mean, it 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 hit a high of 854 or so. And then it basically dropped the whole day. And look at the tremendous volume. I mean, nine million over nine million shares. Uh, the next day was three. Uh, yesterday was three million. And today it's, uh, you know, it's it's, it, you know, the volume is, is uh, coming down. But, you know, I decided that uh, I was going to watch this one. This actually made my, my list, my evening scan list, uh, on the basis that, well, okay, maybe it could recover even half. Let me get up back up to here of this uh, big candle. And so when it broke, let me get to the five-minute chart. So when it broke seven, I decided to take the trade. And uh, the bottom line is it didn't work. <laughs> I got out at 698. I took the trade at, uh, at 706. Um, it got up to... Now this, it looks like it got up to 717, but the problem is that this turned into uh, 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 like the difference between the bid and the ass was was uh, ridiculous for for a seven dollar stock. So I think maybe it got up to 717, but I think the bid was still down around 706 or 707. So I wasn't, you know, wasn't going to get out yet. But um, 
Anyway, I exited the trade right here at uh, 698 and it's really done nothing since then. I mean, it did pop back up, but it came back down. So just has not had the continuation. It may make my list, um, you know, I mean, uh, it's only up 2.53% right now. So it may not make the list, but I may just tuck it away and, and, and see if it can if it can get through $7 with conviction. Uh, tomorrow, uh, you know, I may put, just put alert an alert, uh, a broker alert on it for 716 and see what happens. NVGN, ah, boy, this is one that uh, some played a lot earlier than I did. Uh, this is sort of the star of the day. I mean, it's up 211%, up $3.65. Um, you know, here's a stock, and that's at $5.33 right now. Now, I, I, um, I got into this trade, actually a Matt in the room, he mentioned that it uh, just broke over five, so I started watching it. Um, and so I took, and I basically said, this is just going to be a scalp trade for me. Let me just uh, make this a little bit bigger so you can see. There we go. So I took the trade right here at uh, 506, and immediately uh, I, I exited at 521. And actually I think it was, yeah, 521. So you know, now, I, and this is actually right when I started walking the dog. The dog was looking at me right at noon. Uh, I guess I've had held on just a little bit more. Wow, that went up to 543. So, missed a little bit here. But, uh, you know, it's it's been chopping around. And certainly this one will be on everybody's radar tomorrow. Because, again, when you look at the daily chart, um, this is crazy. I mean, here's where it closed yesterday at 172. And it's at 545 right now. So, let's take a look at a weekly to see what if we have any... Um, well, you know, we got some 607. So we're starting to get into an area where, where people way back here in uh, December 13, uh, of 2000, about a year ago, are going to start to say, well, boy, if, if they still had it, uh, you know, I'm getting out. But we'll have to see. I will certainly be watching this one tomorrow. Obviously, they had news. And as opposed to the other one that, uh, you know, kind of really chopped around, this one almost went straight up. And the last one... Sorry, let me just get to the uh, five-minute candle. And I wonder what this one is doing. This is another big star. Yeah, I I didn't mark this up because it was almost uh, pointless. Um, I got into this one at 8.10. 8.10. So it would have been about right here, in fact, right there. It popped up to 8.24, and I actually exited right here for a few pennies, and that, that was it. Um, I will watch this one also. This was on my... Um, my evening scan list and again this one has just been on a rip I mean look at this uh, again this is today sorry this is today uh, uh, this is Monday Friday Thursday so this is you know Thursday 436 it's almost doubled I mean you know I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's amazing some of these stocks again this is a this is a, a pharma stock biotech stock whatever and good volume again Good volume again today. I mean, it's not not quite as as much as um, uh, as this volume right here, but it's still it's still pretty good volume. So, yeah, this is this is yesterday's volume. So, volume increased yesterday, and now it's decreased a little bit, but it's still above you know Friday or Thursday's volume. So or Friday's volume. So, this will certainly make the list again to see. But you have to think that at this point, maybe maybe it's extended. Let's take a look at the weekly and and see what we have here. You know, I mean, in theory, you've got to 16. You know, so I, I mean, a lot of people are going to look at a chart like this and go, well, you know, it, it could still double. Could still almost double from here. In fact, all, uh, that'd be a, that'd be a double, 1625 uh, or 1630 or whatever. Um, so this would that would be 1628. So, you know, absolutely, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow just to see what uh, see what gives on it. So, that's it. Uh, again, for me, a very challenging day because the spy was so choppy. But um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just going to take a quick look at my, uh, yeah, I'm still holding it, 2772. I have to see what happens on, on this one. Uh, again, I've got, five, I've got uh, about an hour left in the market. Now, if it, if it just completely drops, I, 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 may, uh, I may dump it. But otherwise, you know, it's holding its own. And uh, so I'm probably going to swing this one. So thanks for listening. This is, um, again, how to get into the uh, room. Um, you know, we're cracking a hundred, more than 100 people now in the room every day. So we're getting more and more people, uh, more and more good traders coming into the room. So I really encourage you to come in. So I hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.